Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here, and today I want to talk about primitive hunting techniques, specifically the boomerang. Now, native cultures all over the world have used variations of a curved throwing stick. Here in North America, our natives use something that they call the rabbit stick, and basically it's a like a short, curved, slightly curved club that they throw at a target, and. Um, Dave Canterbury has a great video where he demonstrates the use of it, and I'll put a, a link to that video below here in the description. Now, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but what I've found lately is I've got a lot of Australian subscribers, which is incredible, because they're halfway around the world exactly where my location is. Anyway, one of my subscribers in his walkabout kit included a boomerang. His name is Dr. Shikalu619, and I'll put a link to the video of his walkabout kit right below here in the description. And um, that inspired me to try to build a hunting stick for myself. Um, one of the reasons why I'm choosing the boomerang is because it's a one-handed tool and things like um, a slingshot are also known as a catapult in uh, Britain or in Europe rather and a bow and arrow they're great too as primitive tools but they require the use of both hands um, so I think I'd have more luck with a one-handed hunting implement since I want to use it for hunting as opposed to recreational purposes. I think I want to make it out of something a little heavier than really thin plywood. The other thing is I'm not too concerned about its ability to return to me because I figure if I were to throw it and it actually collides with something it's not going to come back to me anyway. So that part of it isn't important to me. I'm not using it for recreational purposes like a frisbee so it really doesn't have to return to me. When you throw a boomerang, it tends to fly in a wide arc before starting to come back. Now, if I'm going to be using mine like a rabbit stick, I think what I'll be doing is throwing it directly to the target. The shortest path between two points is a straight line. So, I'll be using when I use it for target practice, I'll be throwing it like a rabbit stick as opposed to like a boomerang. Like a boomerang you throw it slightly to the edge like that so that it curls and flies and whatever. But with the rabbit stick you can either throw it horizontally to the ground or vertically depending on whether you're in tall grass, in which case you throw it vertically or if you were in some trees or whatever, you could throw it vertically. Um, the only time you would throw it horizontally is if you were on a like a flat area where it may not collide with something. So, what I'm going to do is go to my garage and cut out a basic shape and shape it into the wing foil pattern of a boomerang and see how it works. Anyway, so I'm going to give that a shot and um, stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to just trace this out on the plywood. there's the rough shape. I'll cut that out with jigsaw and then I'll file it and sand it down to make the wing shapes like the airfoil shapes. Curved on the top, flat on the bottom.
There it is, three quarter inch plywood. Each of the arms is roughly 11, 12 inches long. And it's almost a right angle. It's a little bit tighter than a right angle. So now all I have to do is file it down and sand it to give it the, the curved wing shape on the top. The bottom will stay flat. Then I can paint and stain it to uh, give it a finished appearance. So here we are and you can see the trailing edge of the airfoil and the steeper leading edge. And then on this side, the leading edge and then the trailing edge. This should actually fly now because it's basically aerodynamic. So we will give it a throw and see what happens. So what do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? A stick, of course. Well, I'm getting my exercise. Maybe I should get a dog to fetch the stick for me. Well, judging on its flight path, I think I should have a wider angle, more than 90 degrees. So more of a straight stick, basically. So we'll go back to the plywood and cut a different pattern. <laughs> 